Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> you should see my director today. He's got moves. Oh my gosh, welcome, welcome, welcome to recipe of the day. We are excited to be here. It is Wednesday live and we are here. I have my largest studio audience I have ever had. Um, eight? I think eight. We have a studio audience today and you'll get to meet a couple of them here in a minute, but let me get you up here so I can see your comments with my people. Okay, here we are. Um, get you up there. Okay, welcome. We are going to be making it as pumpkin month. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Back. Gotta get my, gotta get my pumpkins on because it's still pumpkin month. So we are going to be making a couple things that are quick and easy because you know Saturday is Halloween and I thought I might make a couple things that are easy for uh, some treats for the kids. So we are going to be making two things that actually use boxed cake mix. So I thought that is something I would never ever do. But to make it quick and easy, we are going to do that today. So we are going to be making one of the best things I've ever had in my life, this pumpkin dump cake. Oh my goodness. Somebody brought this to a potluck at our office a couple years ago, and I was like, you are kidding me. What is this? Because clearly I had never had a dump, a dump cake before. But I'm going to make that, and then we're going to make some pumpkin snickerdoodles with a surprise inside. And then we're going to be making, in honor of National Chocolate Day, a chocolate pumpkin martini to finish off the day. So let's get started here. I'm going to get started with our pumpkin dump cake. And so I'm going to start here with our can of pumpkin. This is the big can, the big mama can going in here. And this recipe is so easy and it is so good. You do not have to tell anyone how easy this recipe is. Oh my goodness. Yes. Director, do you have my comments up on Facebook? No? Okay. Because I uh, am looking here. I'm not sure I'm on the right screen. Technology at its fi at its finest here. Okay, so I'm going to switch since I can't see my technology. Let's go here. So, okay, we've got our one can of pumpkin here. I'm going to put about three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar. Of course, it goes real fast if they're already measured. <laughs> and then we go with our um, spices. What, dear? There we go. He does not like things in front of me. So there we go. Okay. Now, I have my homemade pumpkin spice, and we made this on the first day of pumpkin month, but I'm almost to the end of it, so a little of that, I'm just going to use the regular spices here. And I have a little piece of trivia for you on the McCormick spices, you know, that everyone has in their cabinet. Um, I, Gary played golf with one of the original McCormicks on all weekend in a golf tournament, and then I found out my grandmother, my mother's mother, was the assistant to the president of McCormick in Chicago in the 20s. So a hundred years ago, she worked at McCormick. How cool is that? I mean, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So Gary's friend he played with was probably a grandson, Gary? Grandson or great grandson. So, love that. So anyway, two teaspoons of, of, of cinnamon going in, get focused here. Is that, was, is that, is that what that sign was? <laughs> Try to tell me, dear. Oh, okay, a quarter teaspoon of ginger going in there. It's basically we're making uh, pumpkin spice. Oh, Gary's friend is set is 70, so however many generations that is from a hundred years. You know, probably two grandson? Probably. Anyway, okay, quarter teaspoon of ginger, quarter teaspoon of cloves going in here. There are a lot of eyes watching me. <laughs> teaspoon of nutmeg going in here. Oh, so, okay, nutmeg in. Okay, so now I've got four eggs that I have already beaten Go, uh, going in here. So four eggs. We are making our liquid for our dump cake. We're making the dump <laughs> for the dump cake. Okay, and then my one can of evaporated milk. In case you wondered what people use this for, it's this. I'll bet you have a can in your pantry, but again, during COVID, we use what we've got, right? So we're going to mix this up. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. You guys get this done, cooked. I'm going to use my whisk here, try and mix 
fix this faster. What's your favorite pop dump cake? Because evidently it's a thing. And like you can make fruit ones and pumpkin ones, apple, peach, berry. Because you can pretty much use any kind of filling for a dump cake that you want to. But uh, this one is just happens to be pumpkin. But I guess it's a thing, like a Midwestern thing. Right, gang? Yeah. I'm getting nods here. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, this looks so good, it smells so good. Yes, dear. Okay, now, because this is going home with my studio audience today, we are gonna make it in another foil pan, the giveaways. So into the foil pan, now I sprayed this with, um, you know, spray, so we didn't make it, so it doesn't make a total mess. In goes the yumminess, here, switch hands here. And then, oh my gosh, yum! Okay, oh my goodness, yum. It seems strange to be making a fall thing when it's like 80 degrees out. <laughs> but we are making a fall thing because it is Halloween on Saturday. What are you going to be? Oh my gosh, yum. You will have to tune in to see what I am going to be because it is Saturday. And I'm deciding what I'm going to be, but I have an idea. Okay. Cake mix. Also, budget friendly, 88 cents. So there you go. <laughs> I'm going to take this, make sure I have everything in there. Yes, I did. Oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey, Jill. This is my candy sweater for Halloween. You see my candies? It's full of candies. Isn't that cute? My gosh, I've had this forever. But I thought I'd break it out. So I'm going to take my cake mix and put it on here. Sprinkle it around here as evenly as I can. And then the topper, what do you think goes next? <laughs> now do you guys like nuts, audience? Yes, everyone? Okay, good, because I can make half of it. No nuts, you don't want, like them. My child, I have to make things half with, half without. But more sophisticated audience here today. <laughs> Hey Erica, how are you? Welcome. We are making pumpkin dunk cake. We are going to make pumpkin snicker do uh, doodles. And I'm just going to spread this out with my hands because my hands are clean. And then we're going to put two sticks of melted butter. Two sticks, yes we are. And because I always use unsalted butter around here, I'm just going to put a pinch of salt in because I just think you should. So, my kitchen, my rules. <laughs> So I'm going to drizzle the two sticks of butter on here. Now, truth be told, I have made this with one stick when you just can't bring yourself to use two sticks. And you just kind of have to be a little more accurate in your spreading. <laughs> but it does turn out okay with one stick too. It's just quite not, not quite as yummy as two sticks. So that is it. That is a pumpkin dump cake. And when you bake this thing, it goes in the oven for about an hour. And it comes out, and it is literally like the best thing you've ever eaten. Because, you know that show, The Best Thing I Ever Ate? This would be on my list. Oh, my gosh. So the pecans, I have about a cup here. And I'll sprinkle them on top of the whole thing. And then we will bake this once you guys are gone. But then you can serve this with whipped cream or ice cream when you serve it up warm. And it is delicious. So there you go. Pumpkin dump cake ready for the oven. Yum! What do you think, audience? Yum. Yum. <laughs> oh, audience. Oh, look at all the audience. <laughs> My pumpkins are not staying on today. Okay, next thing up here, we are going to make some pumpkin snickerdoodles. So this again was with a mix. And of course, the recipe called for a pumpkin spice, um, you know, like quick bread mix. Well, I couldn't find one. So no worries. We're just going to make it up. So I'm using the cinnamon swirl, whatever this I could find, cinnamon swirl crumb cake. And we're going to put this in there. And all I'm going to put in there is one stick of softened butter that was over here in the sun getting softened. So it is soft. I'm going to stick that in. And I'm just going to put a little bit of pumpkin in because, you know, I can. <laughs> I'm just going to make, make it work, work here. So I have about a half a cup of pumpkin that I, uh, yes things out of the way here, huh? Half a cup of pumpkin going in. And that is it on our, oh, and they 
believe I have an egg. Hold on, switch re uh, recipes. Hold that thought. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, it does have an egg. Okay, that's why I have an egg here. Funny how that works out. Always crack your egg on the counter, not on the side of the dish, so you don't get cracked eggs in your dish. Little tip of the day. Yes? Yes. Okay, I will get them out, out of the way there, director man. Okay, here we go. So, I'm using the mixer so I didn't have to stand here and mix it. <laughs> I can read your comments, so let's see, how are my people? Yeah, I know. Another one of the benefits of living at the beach. So again, you know what we do. If you know anyone that needs to uh, talk about real estate, call us. GaryandLisa.com. And I can even make you some pumpkin snickers doodles for the meeting or whatever you like. Okay, so I've got that mixed up. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So because um, I'm making it my own, I'm going to put a little pinch here of my homemade pumpkin spice in here because this wasn't a pumpkin spice mix. You can see I'm going to measure it very care uh, carefully. <laughs> so to that, this recipe actually called for um, white chocolate chips, and of course I was ready because I am stocked in my pantry with all flavors of guitar because guitar is the best! And when they're ready to sponsor my show, I'm ready, but guitar is the best. So that's what I use, white, semi-sweet, whatever I use, they're always that, that guitar. But look what I found today when I was looking for pumpkin spice mix. Pumpkin spice cooking, whatever they're called. They're baking truffles. I mean, seriously, of course I bought these, yeah. So this is what they look like. They look like these, look, these little, I don't know if you can see one, but they're like a little piece of candy and they're pumpkin spice. I mean, yeah. Okay, director is requesting. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Lost my pumpkins. Let's try it again without the pumpkins. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. Oh! Okay, not today, but we're gonna put a mirror mix here. <laughs> okay, so with our snicker doodles here, um, we, I'm going to have my special guest come and help me. We're going to roll some snickerdoodles. So let me introduce you to our special guests today. And we have two special lovely ladies going to come and help me roll some snickerdoodles. So this is Bella and Chloe. Hi. So say hi. You guys going to come in because you can hi. see yourselves there on Instagram. The Facebook is wider, but the Instagram is close. So we got to stay close. So let me get the bowl here. And let me... Get our mix off here. I don't know, I think those need a few more of these. Just because I think they do. Right? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Okay, let me see. Do we have a spatula? I don't, but we we'll use this. Okay, so now we are gonna roll these. Actually, let me grab a cookie scoop because I didn't grab one. And then we're gonna roll them in that. So let me get a scoop. Because I always use a scoop. I think I actually have two. Here we go. I do. Imagine that. Two scoops. So you girls look at the camera when we do, do, do this and put this in here. So now, scoop out a scoop full of the mix and then we're going to roll it in the, fill up your scooper there, a little more so it's full. And then we'll scrape it off the edge. So it's, because the reason you use a scoop, here we go, like this. There we go is we want them to cook the same time. So we use a scoop so they're all the same size and they all take the same amount of time to cook. So then roll it in the, plunk them in there. There you go. And then roll them around. And you can use your hands. Okay. And then we'll put them on our baking sheet, of course, always with the parchment paper. So it's easy cleanup and they don't stick. There you go. Awesome. So let's do a couple more. Scoop away. We'll get one there. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute. The dough, because I put the pumpkin in, it, I'll show you guys, is a little bit orange. And then it has those baking truffles, and they're kind of orange. So, yum. So you see the director? He's telling you guys to look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, you guys, give me some comments and some hearts for our special guests, please. So you can see their, their comments come up here. 
Training on the job training here. Okay, you got it? Okay, we'll do two more and then we will move on to our chocolate pumpkin cocktail. Yes, we have quite, there are a lot of birthdays in October. Did you know that? Oh my gosh, lots of people. There we go. So what is on the plate, by the way, is some white sugar and then that coffee cake thing came with some cinnamon streusel, so I threw some of that in. Then I put some of our homemade pumpkin spice and a little bit of cinnamon and mixed it all around. So that is what they're rolling these snicker doodles in. So yeah, cool. Okay, girls, thank you. So there we go. Just stick them in here because we'll finish when we're off camera. There we go. And there we go. Look how cute those are. Pumpkin snicker doodles with pumpkin baking truffles. Yum. Goodness. Okay, so I tried to do this on a tray, Mr. Director. So I get all my ingredients in front of me. Hold on, clear up, clear the decks here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this real quick though, because I'm gonna use it to rim my glass. Because you, you, you know, why, why not? And I'm gonna use the ginger because it's so good. The ginger liqueur. Can you get the top off that for me, please? Um, um, to rip my glass. So here we go. This is that ginger liqueur that I bought for these cocktails. Oh my gosh, so good. Because my hands are clean, we're just going to put a little bit on the rim here so our sugar sticks. Oh my gosh, smells so good. I love ginger. And I had never heard of this until I went to Bembo and met my sales la uh, lady who taught me things I had never even heard of. Okay, so I'm going to use the same sugar here because it's there. So we have sugar rimmed our glass. And in this cocktail, we're going to take our chocolate syrup here and decorate our glass. So here we go. Oh, we got it? Here we go. Make just like the fanciest hotel, right? They got nothing on me. Okay, there we go. Beautiful glass. Now, here is what is going in our beautiful glass. So here we go. Get my wouldn't want to water down our drink, huh? So this is going to be um, two parts of Kahlua. Of course, my shot glass is a measuring cup, but this is one-eighth of a cup equals one ounce for my mathematicians. So we're going to put two parts Kahlua and one part of this uh, pumpkin liqueur and then one part of our ginger. Yum, huh? And then some half and half going to be quite a cocktail, which I have, that's sugar, but I have half and half in one around here. Here we go. Here's some half and half. Just want to get it out here. Okay. Ooh, almost poured that. Perfect. And then we're going to give that a shake. There you go. Pumpkin, spice, chocolate, martini. I'm going to put, put the lid on that or <laughs> I'll shake it. Oh my gosh. The cookies are going to be yummy. I'm not excited. Okay, so here we go. Nice and cold. Okay, let's give this a try. This recipe called for pumpkin spice Kahlua, but they, don't, they couldn't find it. So I just made my own. Kahlua and pumpkin spice liqueur and bingo. Because when you're COVID cooking, you just make it work. <laughs> Especially when you're making a cocktail, right? So there we go. Happy National Chocolate Day! Woo! Let's see if I can get a sip before I spill it. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. So, cheers. So, uh, we have a lot of birthday shout outs today. Oh, I need another sip of that. Mmm, that is very good, especially if you like Kahlua. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. Okay, so, yes, direction. He's giving me direction. Okay. Hold on. Birthday shout outs today. Hold on, let me get my birthday shout out hat. And my giveaways today. And my fish. Okay. Birthday shout outs. Today we have a bunch of birthday shout outs today. And since my pumpkins already fell off, we're good to go here. Okay. Birthday shout outs today to Jay Smith 
And to Jim Stretchberry, happy birthday to you, sir. And then this week we also have Lori Holmes, dear, dear friend from Cisco, happy birthday to you. And Barbara Dowell, my neighbor, she just opened the F45 gym here in Ventura. So if you um, are looking for a new gym, please go and visit her at the F45. It's right by Toppers in Ventura. So happy birthday to you, Barbara. And Debbie Asher, happy birthday to you. And to Rhonda Foley, happy birthday. A lot of birthdays this week. And it is also today Make a Difference Day. So what can you do to make a difference? So can you give someone a smile? Can you pull down your mask and smile? Can you just give someone a compliment? Can you bring someone a dish or some cookies? Or check on your elderly neighbor, make sure they're okay? So little things make a big difference in people's lives. So it's Make a Difference Day and you still have time to make it happen. Okay, tomorrow is National Oatmeal Day, so just to give you a heads up and time to work for that, it's Oatmeal Day. Okay, so our drawing today. I have three things today because I have one more of these really cute pumpkins today. And these are so cute that your kids can carry them for their trick or treats like this. It has a drawstring top. They are so cute. You can carry it as a purse if you're like me. Or your kids can carry them. They are glow in the dark. My last one. So here on Pumpkin Month. So if you have commented or liked on these videos, um, you are in my fish. So you comment on um, Facebook and on YouTube or YouTube Ventura Real Estate. They're there. I put the recipes here below on Facebook and on YouTube. So today, the winner of our pumpkin is Carol Wines. Congratulations. One of my biggest fans. Um, Carol, you are the winner of my last cute pumpkin. Congratulations. And then in honor of our big wah, wah, stand up election, I have two of these awesome sun hats that have surf toward flags on the front. Look how cute these are. So you have to be one of my local people to win these because I'm not gonna send these huge things in the mail. But <laughs> I thought they were so awesome and I thought today that it's such a hot day we would give those away. So our next two are, doo -doo -doo, Let's see, Sherry Silva, congratulations. You are the winner today. And then let's see who else. And Kim Woods, Kim Woods lives at the beach. How funny, Kim won our quarantine hair don't care hat this summer, so she's my hat girl. So congratulations you guys, and you're both local, so you win the sun hats. So thank you guys for watching, we love it when you're here live. Uh, visit us at GaryAndLisa.com for all your real estate needs. Visit us on Ventura Real Estate. Please subscribe on YouTube because we're almost to a thousand. So please visit us there. And of course, we live stream on Wednesdays and Saturdays live at three o'clock. And remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And we look forward to seeing you here. Went live Wednesdays and Saturdays. You're just making me laugh. So thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. It is our last uh, Pumpkin Month episode on Halloween on Saturday. So we will see you then. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. Okay.